Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars 6 inch Black Series figure review. This time I've got the Shore Trooper or Scarif Stormtrooper Squad Leader. Um, one of my favourite figures probably of the last 12 months. Um, I'd love to do a top 10 at some stage. My last, last I've sent a few people doing the top, top 10 of 2016 and so forth. And um, this guy would rank pretty highly, I think. Um, so I'm still debating whether I want to do that video or not. Um, but yeah, um, Buddy's got got um, the standard one, which was the Walmart exclusive um, over there. So I've got one coming in the hopefully in the next couple of weeks, um, which is exciting. So I've got got a, got a power for this guy. But um, yeah, this this one really really kicks ass. Um, I'm such a big fan of this new armor. Um, for the shore troopers or these particular stormtroopers um I, I really hope we get to see them again whether it's um i just draw i like that the hover tank driver is very derivative of um this armor as well it's pretty much their body armor is all the same the helmets are slightly different these guys have almost got that sort of scout trooper mouthpiece i guess you'd call it um Whereas the tank driver does not, but um, yeah, this guy is awesome. I'm really a big fan of this this figure, um, and this this armor is it just kicks ass. It just looks so cool. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at the blaster. This is the E22 blaster rifle. So a model up from the standard E11 that the stormtroopers use. Um, so I imagine this packs a bit more punch. But it looks cool. Um, so those sort of baser elements, especially around the handle, the stock, the scope. Um, you can sort of see. You can sort of see there the similarities between the E11. And then outside of that, it just goes hardcore. You get a big stock on the back, and then almost I don't know if it's meant to be a double barrel. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, a lot more, a lot heavier. Um, painted nicely too. Got a nice little um, sort of silver up the up here, sort of silver flashings. A little red, red bit there. So that's nice. Um, it's it's awesome to see new weapons come into like the Imperial and Rebel militaries that that really look like they could have been there since they first come up with Star Wars 40 years ago. Um, and they just they just fit in so well, and they've done a lot of homework. So I'm just straightening out this figure off camera so we can get a good look at him. And here he is. There we go, look how quick that focus, that rules. I'm just filming some new reviews on this camera, so yeah, this guy is awesome. I'm a I'm yeah, like I said, I'm such a big fan of this armor and the colours just kick ass, they're so good. I'm really into Scarif as a planet. I think it's I think it's just it was an absolute genius move to have something like an imperial base um, basically in absolute tropical paradise I guess just the contrast of paradise even being overtaken by um, by the empire um, this got a good, very um, Oh, don't, I can't think of the word. Nothing comes to me when I want it to. Um, yeah, there's something. There's there's a bit of extra, a bit of extra there. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I do, but I don't know the words, and that's disappointing to me. But anyway, yeah, I think you guys probably know what I mean. I hope you do anyway. Um, yeah. I feel like we've seen that symbol before, but I can't think of where. The one just up on that visor. Um, now I wonder if those come down, those visors, I wonder if they sort of come down to shield the eyes, like a blast shield built into the helmet. Have to see a practical, practical piece. Um, I'm hoping, I'm, I'd love to get one of the Anovos helmets one day. That'd be cool. So the armor looks good. I, like, I really like this blue. 
and sort of painted across the chest across the top of the shoulders and that white line really just pops because because the beigey sandy color of the rest of the armor I think it looks really good now I've just spotted this there looks to be a little bit of orbesh maybe not no now that I'm zoomed up it doesn't look like it my camera's got better eyesight than I do I thought it might have been a little bit of orbesh or something there but it's not but um, yeah, this red was really striking as well. And the rest of the armor, I like the back, the karma, or kilt, or whatever you want to call it. That looks good too. I like all the stitching lines on the side. Really nicely molded detail. And I'm really a big fan of these um, the shin armor too. That looks really good. I like they still carried over design elements from the original Stormtrooper where one had like a sniper knee like an extended knee plate so they've sort of carried that over onto the, this Stormtrooper as well but the weathering is just awesome looks really nice and dirty and then boots underneath it's more finer details around the belt I'm looking forward to getting the standard one um, I wish they, I really wish they made that part of the standard line so we could army build, chuck two in a case. It's just, it seemed pretty logical to me, but I always think there's a way to market it differently, so. Overall, this, this is a cool figure, I really like him. Nice brown, brown colours, just the colours are really cool. <coughs> Let me get a nice close up of the helmet. really nicely designed I think it's good Hasbro have done a really good job of this figure so let's arm him up you can see his articulation he's got a ball joint and neck a ball jointed head, sorry, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists. He's got a sort of torso joint there. Um, he's got ball jointed hips, swivels of thighs, double jointed knees, oh, two hin double hinged knees. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking at it. Yeah, double hinged knees and ball joint ankle, so you get that rocker movement too. And this figure is is rad. Well, there you have him. Hope you've enjoyed that review, guys. Um, I'll be back with some more very soon. And until my next video, may the force be with you.